Hand reading in Mahjong means to identify the most likely hands your opponent is developing. During the pick and discard phase of the game, this is done by observing exposures and discards. The intel gathered can be used to help you make decisions on the development of your own hand. It can also help you play more defensively as the game progresses. In this video, we're going to practice hand reading. Okay, perfect. We just joined a table with a game in play. They're doing the first Charleston. This is the first left. So now we're waiting for everyone to agree. Now this player in front of us, they're on auto pass. That means they left the table. So we only need to read hands for three of the players. So this should be a good entry level exercise if you're new to hand reading. So what we're going to do is wait until East discards and then we're going to watch them discard and try to figure out what hand they're playing. At first, we'll be able to figure out maybe what category they're playing, but eventually we'll be able to drill down and figure out what hand they're playing. Of course, the more exposures, the easier it will be. Also, you're not going to see the tiles because we're in spectate mode. So we're on last right. We'll have one more pass across, and then we'll get started and practice this amazing skill. And it will make a difference in the way you play the game, I, I guarantee. If you add this skill to your playing style, it will make a difference. You can gather a lot of good intel to help you with your own hand development, but also defensive decision making. So we're waiting for the optional across. I'll go full screen so you can see the tiles. Okay, the Charleston is now over. First tile coming out. Six bamboo. There it is. Six bam. We'll wait for the first Six couple bamboo. rounds of discards. One bamboo. We need a bit of fodder to get Two started. Two bamboos. There was a little hesitation on that two bam. That means somebody has it in their four hand. Bamboos. Doesn't necessarily mean that they need it. Okay, so we have two, six four, six, characters. two, four, six in BAMs. Anybody playing evens two bamboos. is going to have a hard time. Maybe even playing, if anyone's playing a year six hand, dots. they may have a hard time with the year hand. A six dot now, all evens, but one tile are out. Two characters. Another even tile. Four characters. Another even tile. So what that could mean is that people are playing consecutive run Green five to nine, or maybe big odds, maybe odds Four all together. Also, like numbers could be a potential here. But at Seven the moment, dots. there there's the second odd now. South wind. So the player on our left discarded a six nine and a seven. Dots. So and they discarded a two crack as well, two Nine and a four. Dots. I just wonder if they're playing maybe Eight a like characters. number hand because they're throwing away six, two, four, six, six eight. They could be playing odds, actually. And also, Five somebody characters. here is playing wins because there's only one wind out. Green dragon. Usually, you see a lot of wins go down in the in the first rounds seven of discards. Dots. Okay, so seven, nine in dots are out. East wind. Somebody could be playing odds in one suit. White dragon. Cracks. North wind. Okay, no hesitation on the wind. All right, so we're starting to see some Five odd tiles dots. come out. 
579, 579 in dots, five BAMs are out. So we could have a couple of people playing odds in cracks. Eight dots. But again, there could be someone playing like numbers. And maybe the player win. to the right could be in wins. Flower. I suppose the player across from us could too. Okay, now here's the first flower. I always like to see what happens when the first flower goes out. That can be uh, telling as well. So the player to our right discarded a West. They Green may characters. be switching hands because winds are going down and they weren't able to call. That West came out of the middle of their hand, which to me means that it, it could have been a, a bamboo. potential keeper. So they might have changed their hand. One dot. So let's see, we have ones out, twos out, no threes are out. Somebody could be playing three, six, nine. Four there dot. are the six dot nine dot out and a six crack. Six bands are dot. out. So maybe not. I don't think three, six, nine or maybe three, six, nine in cracks. One bamboo. It just looks like there are not one very character. many cracks at all. Here's a hesitation on the one crack. Two dots. I don't think I've seen a single three. Eight characters. Three is the only tile not visible at the moment. Somebody could be playing like Two numbers bamboo. with threes. Green dragon. Like numbers with threes, and someone is playing red dragon. All cracks, maybe odds. Oh, wait, there's oh. a three right here. Three crack across from us. One, one, three. Four. Just one three is out. So three, we have a Nine red bamboos. dragon pung, the first exposure. That Two gives you characters. some intel. Now in 369, the dragon hands are off suit. Green dragon. So they're not playing 369. They're, they could be playing like One numbers. Dot. My guess is they're playing like numbers with dragons. Let's see here. Flower. They could be playing the second dragon hand, though, under wins as well. Somebody is playing Nine wins. Bamboos. There's only, let me see how many green. There are two, three Nine green bamboos. dragons are out and a white dragon. So my Nine guess, dragon. my guess is this player across from us could be playing maybe North like win. numbers with dragons or maybe the three, six, nine dragon hand. Fourth Seven one down dots. across from us. And to the right, Flower. I think they're playing odds and cracks that is my guess the player to the left based on their discards seven characters let's see here we have five seven nine and two four eight three two dots. let's see One i don't character. see threes i don't see seven i see a seven I Come. don't see one. Okay, we have a one crack now they could be doing a little odds a little odd hand maybe with a one one crack Six bamboos hung. There's a two crack out here that they already Flower. threw. So my guess is they're playing little odds. So little odds to the left. Three dots. Odds and one suit to the right. Now this player across from us, I was thinking they're doing three, six, nine, fourth three hand dots. down or the second wind and dragon green hand. Characters. But they're gonna need jokers because the green dragons are out, and so is the white. It looks like Eight they even dots. threw a white. Now they could be playing dots. they could be playing little odds in one oh. suit. Okay, now here we go. Five dot. So maybe they're playing a mixed suit hand. Three they dots. punged a five dot, but they discarded a six. So my Three guess is bamboos. they're playing odds. I'm thinking Seven everybody's characters. playing odds, little odds. We'll see. East wind. All the nine bams are out. The nine dots are out. Seven dots are out. I don't one see any bamboo. seven bams, though. Let's see here. I Four do not bamboos. see seven bams. Let's see. Five bam, five dot Three pung. Dots. Five dot pung. Four bamboos. Hmm. This is going to be Six interesting. Dots. Very interesting. Pung. Six. Five, Five six, bamboos. pung, pung. So they, they were doing 
mixed suits. They threw a six crack. So here we have five, six. They have a seven crack in front of them. One, dog. five, six, pung, pung. So maybe they're doing eight characters, seven, eight in bams. Two bams. Because I do not see any seven bams. So they're doing five, Two six, dots. seven, eight. And seven, eight would be in bams, I think. Two dots. Okay, so now we're going to try to figure out what the player on the Jennifer. left is doing and the player across Seven from us. Win. I thought maybe they were doing one, one suit dot. in cracks based on what they had in front of them. Three bamboos. North wind. Seven, eight. There's our crack suit. And we have one through five to the left. So here's five, six, seven, eight. This player is playing big odds, not little odds. I was thinking they were maybe playing little odds in one suit, or maybe the three, six, nine, fourth hand down, but the dragons were all going down. Over here, I thought they were playing little odds, one, three, five, but they're playing one through five. So I got close to that one. And let's see here. This is the player that won. This one I got wrong. Five, six, seven, eight. I thought they were in cracks, but they were playing consecutive run. My clue was that I should have maybe analyzed a little further was when they punged the five dot and discarded the six crack. That should have confirmed that they were in consecutive run because... A pung with a six, a pung of fives with a six discard would indicate that they're playing consecutive run, maybe three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. So that one was a learning opportunity for me. If you have not tried, practicing hand reading. You can do it at Mahjong time by using spectate mode. Spectate mode. Here, let me show you how to do it. I probably should make this part of the process. I'll go full screen again so you can see how to do spectate mode. And just remember that you cannot see the hands. That's the whole purpose. You want to practice identifying what people are playing based on discards and exposures alone. You click watch the button in the far right corner until you find a dialog box that has spectate in white. Here it's grayed out, so you can't spectate. And that's because the game is over. So you need to find one where it's bright white, and then you click on it, and you want to find a game where they're in the Charleston, like right here. This is perfect. Because you wait for the Charleston to end, and then when the game begins, that's when you start hand reading. So I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.